Now, just to quote Beetlejuice, every time I see the Ezra Miller story, it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. <laughs> and we're talking about some comic book art today for the Flash, kind of a really inappropriate name for the superhero right now when you see the images below me. When I saw this, I could not stop laughing. This is going to be a very short video, folks, but I had to draw my attention to it. So the Flash director, Andy Muschietti, draws Ezra Miller's Barry Allen. And uh, yes, he's uh, next to naked, basically, in the covers I'm going to show you. So if I click on this image here, well, what can I say about this? I mean, yeah, Barry Allen is getting into his Flash outfits while uh, dealing with the chaos behind behind him and obviously it, it looks like Ezra Miller it probably talks like Ezra Miller probably has pronouns like Ezra Miller you know the list goes on and on and then we've got the black and white image here that he submitted to the folks at DC who didn't seem to have a problem with it and I guess maybe in some iteration of the Flash they might have explored that situation like how does he manage to uh, change into his clothes so quickly without seeing any hints of flesh so we've got this as an example it's pretty funny actually I find this whole thing very funny then of course he's uh, doing that sort of retarded run that he always does in the films and then I think the last image we have here is <laughs> I mean, this can't get more funny than that. <laughs> so, I mean, what else am I going to say to this, right? It's just hilarious. But I'm reading all these reports at the moment and nothing is actually confirmed. Is Ezra Miller fired from the Flash film? He probably won't be because they've already made the movie. Uh, they spent all the millions of dollars going into it. Why then spend re uh, more millions get getting somebody else to replace him? It makes no sense at this stage. Let the movie die a death. Maybe what David Zaslav said is that he might put it in the corner of a streaming platform somewhere and let it work itself out. That might be the best plan going forward. But if they quietly get rid of Ezra Miller and hopefully Amber Turd from the Aquaman sequel that nobody begged or asked for, then maybe, just maybe, the stars might start aligning. But wow, would you want to be Ezra Miller waking up to this image today? And I mean, wow, I mean, can fiction actually mirror real life? You never know. It's happened a few times from my experience. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring this quick video for you today, guys. I haven't seen anybody talk about it, but I thought I would do that. So I hope you're enjoying my Gina Carano video for Terror on the Prairie. Absolutely love that film. I love Gina. I love the people that support her in our fellowship. And on that one, folks, if you enjoyed this quick video today, because it will be gone in the flash if you don't get to it in time, make sure you like this video make sure you share it everywhere and if i were you i'll look out for me on my next upload